Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend Like there is no way out Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany. Um, I have some errands to run. In the last vlog, y'all should have saw me going to get flyers for my new business venture, my earrings. And it's just too much a hassle at that place. Like, I've never had, like, such a hassle, like, getting fly printed flyers before. So, um... I'm shopping around and going to another place because I just feel like there's no reason. There's nothing wrong with the copy of the flyer that I gave to him. Why they can't be printed. He keep having me going back to the graphic designer asking for more and more information. And I really don't think that's the case. So, I have to do that. I have to soak my nails off because um, Wednesday I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting a fresh set still have no idea what I'm doing and I can't believe I'm short I think I'm gonna be I think I might be short to like October I think I'm gonna be because I just have a lot going on anyway um not that my nails ever really stopped me but I'm gonna start weight training at the gym and I want to like really give it my all and um and you know what I'm saying nails never really stopped me but I don't know like I'm just like I want to really be able to grab you know the bar of the weights and then it's something it's something about like when I'm used to something that I could just do it with my nails you know because even before when I was going to the gym last year like doing push-ups were a little bit hard for me because like I was always like worried about getting like a bad break it wasn't so much breaking a nail obviously you don't want to break a nail but like it was like getting a bad break where it's like your actual nail underneath is from bleeding so I'm working on push-ups. I'm gonna, I didn't go to the gym this morning. I originally planned to go Tuesdays to make Tuesdays and Thursdays my day. I have to figure out another day. I know the lady at the gym said Sundays weren't um, that crowded. However, like realistically, when I go back to work, um, I'm off every other weekend. So I won't be able to go to the gym every Sunday because on Sundays, the gym opens up later. It opens up at 7. So that wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be realistic for me to go. So, yeah. I just got to soak my nails off, but my camera's dying, so I'm just gonna have to shut it off now because it makes no sense. But I got my hair done, and I got like a flip over because I didn't want to define part. He will be gone, and I have an nail in the morning. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to my nail appointment with Taj. I'm a little late, so um, but I also think I want to do something different on my nails. So you guys know I cut my nails down short. Um, and I was telling you like in the last vlog about like you know me just really wanting to be able to get it in in the gym like properly before I put my nails back on, like, you know what I mean? Cause I feel like, I don't know, like I told y'all already, I feel like I could do anything with my nails, but I really just wanna be like in tune, in tune in the gym, if that makes sense. My vanity is a mess. I have bags. Oh, I didn't show y'all my nails. Focus, focus on me. Um, apply more sunscreen, I'm like into like, sunscreen and stuff and skincare i bought some skincare products today but like i'm really i'm coming to like my last day my last month on accutane Ooh, and um yeah i'm coming down to like my last month so i want to make sure it's good i don't think i need to do a second round i could but honestly I can't because I need to, um, y'all know I got a breast lift and all that. And I need to fix my areola on my right boob just because it, like, grew back. So, sometimes that can happen. It's not anybody's fault. It's just the doctor just needed to grip it a little tighter when he was, like, sewing. So, it just expanded. So, now I have the areola of someone who has bigger boobs, like, basically, like, my old boobs before. I got them lifted. 
and reduce and all that. So, the other one is fine. So cute. Little tiny areola. We got a little ass tiny areola. And then we got a, a pepperoni over there. It's just not cute. Ew. I was just like having like build up. Ew, I do not like build up. You be talking to people, people be all embarrassed to tell you that you got build up. You just just make sure you don't got build up because you out here embarrassing people because they want to help you out, but they're scared to tell you that you foaming at the fucking mouth. Um Yeah, so basically I think I'm about to go edit a vlog. I don't even know what that vlog looked like. But <laughs> I'm about to go edit it. If it's choppy, I'm stopping in my tracks. But you know what? Somebody might want to see it. So I'm just going to put it up there. It's good to just have it instead of throwing it away. Because I don't want nobody to think that I'm not doing being consistent or like just ignoring YouTube. So I'm going to do that. I can't believe like fall is almost here. I can't believe fall is literally almost here, y'all. I seen a video, somebody posted like, oh, signs that fall is almost here. And would y'all believe it was some leaves on the ground? And I said, good God almighty. Because when I tell you, I, I'm just like praying because I know how my seasonal, I don't even want to say seasonal depression because I just suffer from depression and that shit will hit me at any given moment, any given time. And then like you you put my anxiety on top of it, it's just like, whew, that's why it's like, sometimes if you don't see me on social media, I know some, um, somebody yeah, hit me up like, oh, where you been? Because I posted on TikTok, depressed. <laughs> Not even like, just going through it. Like my anxiety was like really bad. So I like had to take a moment. Like that's why if you don't see me, I'm either extremely busy or like, Honestly, sometimes I just ain't got shit to say. But I've been so focused with what I just have, like, some things going on behind the scenes. And I've been so focused on that that I really ain't got time to, like, worry or do anything else but that. So, right now, I think I don't even want to change my clothes. Because sometimes when I change my clothes and get too comfy, it's like I can't buckle down. But I charged my computer last night, so... I'm gonna, my skin been looking good though. I feel like, so I'm gonna, you know, go edit while I'm in like work mode. However, let me turn on the, the light is so bad right here, but let me turn on the light so y'all can see my skin. Like, I feel like it's so good, but I did get burned by the sun the other day. I told y'all that in the last vlog, I think, but. I got burned when I went on my walk. Like, the sun was just too hot. But for the most part, I feel like my, my skin is doing what it's supposed to do. Like, I am tired, so I have bags. But, yeah. It could always be better, but it's a work in progress. That's another reason, too, like, why I'm really, like, focused on what I eat. Because... I ain't got time because I your skin will really act up based off my skin acts up based on what I eat, but also like it's a real thing that based on off of what you intake, how your your body will react. Hey y'all, good morning. And this is such a weird angle. It's like five twenty. I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna be doing um upper body today because my legs are still killing me from Tuesday, and today is Thursday still killing me like yesterday i got like the bright idea to really just fight through the pain and really stretch it out because my thighs were burning me when i went down the stairs so it's still it's still a bit painful but it's not that bad so i'm gonna do some more upper body i'm gonna work on some weightlifting today and um yeah i have some instagram reels and tiktoks that I've seen that looks helpful, should be helpful. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to try that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Over three minutes away. I will see y'all later. I've been running from the gym for a little while now, but 
I got some stuff to do right now, so that's what we're gonna go do. I gotta go to physical therapy. I gotta pick up my niece. I gotta pick up my niece first, then go to physical therapy. Then I gotta go to another flyer place, a printing shop. Then after that, what I gotta do after that? Um, come. After that, I gotta um. We're going to figure it out what I got to do at that because I can't remember right now. Now to go. And that's the Oreo cheesecake. Uh, should I get the caramel? I don't know. How much is the caramel cheesecake? Should I get it? Nah, I think I'm gonna just stick with the birthday cake. I'm doing too much. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. I had a doctor's appointment. Um, but um, I just left. I was there for hours. I was there for hours. Like, oh my gosh. I was feeling like welfare. Um, what was I gonna say? So I went to, I was, I wanted a piece of cake like and i'm working on my cravings and i haven't really been craving anything sweet however like i feel like i don't want to deprive myself too much of like when i do have a craving like obviously i'm going to try to control it but i don't want to deprive myself because i find that like when i do like then i just end up when i finally do end up getting a craving like it's not enough like i just end up like overly indulging in sweets so I went to this place in Long Island City that was close to the doctor that I went to and it was called New York um, Bakery. I never heard of it. I was really gonna, I really wanted to go to Lulu's on Union Turnpike because that was gonna be like the first time I ever went because I always passed it. And they were like on the Food Network. But um, yeah. And then right across from Lulu's when I was coming, Lulu's, but right across from New York Bakery when I was coming out, I seen Jim Rock Jerk and I don't know it's really big in New York like I found out about it like um, I think three summers ago and like they just pop up different places with their um their street cart like but it's like so professional and the lines be down the block for like their jerk chicken and I love jerk chicken that's like on the charcoal grill like I don't like other jerk chicken when people be trying to put it in the oven or they be trying to just put some sauce in it that is not jerk chicken that is not mm -mm. I don't know that ain't jerk chicken however i do know that a lot of people can't use those type of um barrels inside so a lot of some restaurants just do it like the easy way because they're not allowed to use those type of um um you know grills inside or else they get fine because it causes a lot of smoke and blah 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 so and i guess people don't want to go outside in the winter on that grill but yeah so I, i'm really excited i got it later for dinner so I'm really excited to, to try it and see what it tastes like. I know it got to be good because they lines be down the block. Like, it be down the block. But, um, I'm hungry. So, I'm going to find something to eat really quickly. It's probably going to be Chick-fil-A. <laughs> it's going to be Chick-fil-A, y'all. I just didn't want y'all to think that I was just going crazy with food. That's why I try to act like I didn't know what I was going to eat. But I knew damn well it was going to be Chick-fil-A. And I'm going to have me some Chick-fil-A and I'm just going to go home. This is my Saturday. I've been kind of feeling bored lately. Like, I haven't been doing anything. Like, I haven't been going out. Like, ugh. I can't wait till I get, like, a real social life, you know? You know, you know, you know. Yeah. That's where I'm at with it. Um, I guess I'll come back and talk to you guys if anything interesting happens. I really want to know if this damn cake is going to taste good. Like, I don't know. I'm back, y'all, because this cake looks dry as hell. It looks so dry. This is not good. I'm home. I'm still lying down. I feel better. I had my little Chick-fil-A. I felt terrible about it. I do. I'm adding more 
sunscreen. This is the sunscreen I'll be using. People said they see a big difference in their skin when you apply it more than once a day. I'm getting it done with it, but I want every drop. I got another bottle in my drawer, but um, I'm going to empty this motherfucker out. Even though I'm in the house, I'm still going to put it on because, yes, the sun comes through the damn drapes. Let's get that neck. But, yeah, you know what I was just thinking about? I'm really the naked friend. Like, I'm really the friend that's always naked. Like, my homegirl used to be like, yo, you always naked. I used to be like, I used to have this homegirl. I used to be like, yo, you always naked. You ain't got no clothes on. I never got no clothes on. First of all, I hate FaceTime, but whenever my friends did FaceTime me, the first thing they would say is, you dressed? Or before they was about to FaceTime me, they would text me and be like, you dressed? Like when they had something to tell me? Because they know it's a possibility that I'm not. Right now, I just got my panties on, but... And that's because y'all here. If you want to be frank. I only kept my panties on because y'all here. <laughs> I don't like clothes. Like, I'm just someone who doesn't like clothes. Like, I don't I don't feel like it's for me. And honestly, it might be my roots because we didn't came from Africa. And we was in shame. Like, when you come out, the, we was in shame about, you know, not having on much clothes. It was... You know why. I you gotta tell y'all. But, yeah. I don't know, like, wearing clothes. Like, I find clothes to be so uncomfortable. The first thing I do when I come in my house, I start stripping. Bitch, even a bra is too restricted. I don't know how my neck been doing, like, this thing like I'm getting hives. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? Never mind the double chin. And on my chest. I don't know. I don't know if it's something, something that my dermatologist had gave me. When, but I don't know. I wonder if it's because I started putting this on my neck because you know I had made a TikTok about my black ass neck. Your good molecules. Oh, that's what I got to order. I got to order something else. I've seen their toner. I don't want to order that. But yeah, I'm just going to pimple. Yeah, but I started putting it on my neck. Because I have the one for your body. Like, it's a, um, this is like the color correcting serum. The discoloration correcting serum. I have the actual one for your body. Because that one is for your face. But I have one for your body. And, um, I started mixing both of them and putting them on my neck. I don't know. I'm trying to see, like, when I realized that those little bumps slash hives was happening. Because it's, like, under the skin breakout. It kind of looks like dermatitis. I'm looking for my pimple popper. But I don't know. But, um, yeah. What the fuck is my pimple popper? The thing about me having a lazy eye is that something will be right there in front of me. My ugly ass won't even see it. Ain't that about it? I found the bitch. It wanted to be hiding from me. I found it. Ooh. Yeah. I'm popping up. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm on my way to Sephora. I'm like a couple blocks away, but I'm not even gonna take y'all inside. I'm just going to get a moisturizer for my face because I'm running out my true belief cream. Um, you can't even vlog in there, so it don't even make sense for me to take y'all in there with me because they be like either some people be like no vlogging or they just have the music up extremely loud, so there's that. But um I've been so tired lately and I feel like I need to go like on vitamins or something. I was taking vitamins a while back, but I don't know. I wasn't really taking nothing for energy. I was just taking iron. But, um, 
yeah yeah and then I gotta go get pre-workout so that I can like really like have like the energy and the strength to go through my workouts like push myself a little harder cuz I mean I'm just starting back out but I don't think an hour is gonna be like enough like I'm curious to see how far I can go the the blend the bottles Okay, I think I'm gonna get it. Um, let me see it then. Oh, I saw this. My friend sent me this one. She sent me um, woke as fuck. Is this woke as fuck? Yeah. This one would be good for you too instead of that C4. She sent me that, that's what she's taking. Wait, what you said? It's going to do what? What you said is going to do what? It has a metabolism burn into it. So when you're working out, it's going to continuously work at burning calories and fat on you the entire time. You understand? So you would still be motivated and it would still give you the maximum of trying to lose as many type of weight that you're trying yeah, to Yeah, because old boy was trying to be overly helpful. I hate when men do that, like try to be like, like just like a know-it-all. Like, and I'm sitting there telling him like, I'm learning like what to do with my, oh, I'm zooming in. I'm telling him like, oh, I'm learning like, you know, the gym and what I should be doing from like other women he was like so then he go oh you know I lost 60 pounds like he just like anything I said like he had a rebuttal for it like even when I was like oh I want to go to the whole food store like um because it's like this organic um West Indian store or whatever and like I usually get like my washouts my cleanse from them because one I'd rather get my money back to my community and two, like, you can actually read the ingredients on the back of the bottle. Like, it literally says black pepper as an ingredient. Like, literally. So, I'm, like, telling him that or whatever. And he was like, so you don't want to buy from me? I'm like, okay. Like, obviously, you're West Indian, too. Like, I could tell I heard it from the minute you opened your mouth and I seen it. However, you do not own GNC. You, he like, I'm the manager. I'm like, yeah, but like, if this was like your personal franchise, that would be something different. Like, I want to give my money to people that look like me. Like, what the hell? Like, and honestly, I like that and I know how it works. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a small mom and pop shop. Like, I want to get my money there. It worked fine on my stomach. It helped with my gut health. Then he telling me what I should be doing and stuff like that. And then, I'm just like... I told him, I'm like, yo, I, I've been watching, like, the women on Instagram and TikTok, you know. And I've been watching how they lose weight and stuff like that. And then here he go with a rebuttal. But would you believe me if I told you I managed the gym for how many years? Like, sir, it's not about you. Like, stop trying to make it about you. Like, it, it was never about you. Like, it's the fact that men give out advice as if they're, like, in the gym as if they're giving it to another man. I don't want to be bulky. Good morning. Um, I'm headed to the gym. It's like 4. I got up at like 4.15. It's like 4.50. The gym opens at 5. I'm not that far away. I'm going to take the C4 that I bought. I think it says... Um, it says one level school into water. So... Boop. Not right now. Calm down. Pour it in there into like six ounces of water. So I'm gonna get some water. Get some behind me. It don't really have a six on there, and I'm mad about this one because I really could have ordered some more. I'm gonna stop right before I get to the eight. It was blue. I wish I would have took it as soon as I got out. My stomach. I should be it. My stomach was killing me. I was killing me from last night. Like, gas, like around 7 o'clock bed. I really pray I don't have to use the bathroom. At the gym. That's disgusting. I took the 
No Pepto Bismol. I took some more Pepto Bismol, so. Hopefully that helps. And then I had a sharp pain under my right breast. Like, it kept happening, but I just stretched. Like, last night, I'm like, God, please. Like, I pray. Nasty. It's not bad. It's not unbearable. I'm not going to let it marinate. Ooh, Father God. I already stretched so I could just go in the gym and do what I need to do. I'll see y'all later. I myself, I happen to feel wonderful. You know what I mean? Like, I thought, like, I feel great. Um, when I got in the cab, like, um, the C4 started to tingle a little bit. Um, I was like, no, hold on. Let me get there. I was like, Thomas, like, chicka chicka choo choo. I think I can. I think I can. That's how I was. Girl, I got in that gym. I was, oh. I got in that gym. I'm about to go in the shower. So I ain't got no clothes on. I was doing my pull downs. I was doing my rows. And then, honestly, you know I hate being bothered by men. Like, the whole species. Like, just don't even look at me. But two men, because I went to a girl. Like, you know, I went to a woman. I was like, oh, how you? Because, you know, like, they have attachments on those, like, pulling machines where you could switch out different handles. So, you could work out. You could do, like, the pull down, you know. The little ropes, whatever. You could do like the bar. And I could not get the shit. I'm like, where's the thing that attaches to the, you know, where's the attachment so that I can actually put the, the piece on? So I asked the girl because it's like, I don't be liking the ex men because they feel like it's an open invitation. Not all men, but some men, they be like, all right, next victim. Because they be thinking they're going to come ruin your life. Like they try to come in all helpful. And them niggas is really not helpful. But. This guy, he came, and he was like, he was like, he saw us trying to figure it out, and he was like, um, it's that piece. So, I want, I'm not gonna lie, deep down in my heart, I wanted him to help me, and, and his ass did help me, because bitch, when I tell you I couldn't get the little hooky thing off, so he was like, that's it. So he saw me, so I'm like, um, hello, you see me fucking struggling, you know I can't do it, but my pride, I wasn't gonna be the one to ask for help. I would have fought with it all day. I probably would have. After a couple more tries, I'd be like, can you help me? But I just didn't want to disturb anybody while they were working out. So he got up and did I was like, think he was like, it's your nails. It's your nails. But my nails are short. And then he was like, see, it's your nails. So then he moved it for me. And he actually put it on. I was like, thank you so much. Like, And then some other guy that been eyeing me since day one. He a trainer. He looked like one of them dudes that's like, he did a little bit of time. No, no shades of people that do time. She, Shout out to my brother, Free Him. Free Him till they free him. You feel me? And he was like, you know, he got that little jail body, like the big up top, little legs. <laughs> Skipping like that. Don't skip like that because you don't look like a carrot. But, um, yeah, he was telling me when I was doing the pull-down machine, he was like, it's too heavy. But I thought it was supposed to be a little bit heavy because I ain't going to, because I felt like when I was moving, I was moving the shit too much. He was like, nah, you don't have no control. And that's my problem, you know. That's why I be trying to take my time with shit because I don't have no control. So I'll just, the more I have control is the more I can make it heavier. But yeah, I was working on that back fat child. Because y'all gotta go. <laughs> hey y'all. So I randomly put this outfit on. I'm fighting to get my shirts so. <laughs> off. One thing about these this ass is going to swallow these shorts up. Yeah, so I put this outfit on. And I kind of been seeing it in my head for weeks. And it did exactly what it's supposed to do. So guess what I'm going to do today. Guess what we're doing today. We're going to take a picture. We're going to take a picture. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I think I'm going to go to Brooklyn and take a picture. Because, chill, you just be nowhere in Queens. And it's hot. It's like 88 degrees. And I have a long sleeve. But at least it's not humid. At least it's not humid. It's so bright, guys. Anyway, I'm in Bushwick. We decided to go to the Bushwick murals. Like, the mural that I really want to take a picture of in front of. I had to take a picture in front of it in 2019. And 
now a new store in front of it and it's closed down but I just want to show you guys one of them that's really cute let me show you I'm having like one of those days where the outfit looks better in person and it's not really being portrayed through the pictures like I don't know like the spots like it was just like really bright out so I ended up looking dark granted I could try to fix it like in the camera and like the in editing but like sometimes like when it already looked like that from the beginning like just who that you have to do so much work and then like it changes like the color in the picture sometimes just almost too much and then it like takes away from the picture all together and I'm just gonna end up painting it so I don't know I got a couple of scraps and I feel like I could just like use whatever like maybe on the way home like I can find like a nice building where I can take like a picture at but right now it's not given at all and I'm really hungry so that's not helping and then like you guys know like I have like sensitive eyes so like my eyes started tearing up this one and just ran like it was like one long teardrop and I'm like you know it could have been worse however I'm just like I'm over it hey chica I'm home I got my little I didn't end up taking pictures anywhere else again um I'm about to eat the best pizza in the world definitely the best pizza in New York margarita's pizza right off of Jamaica Avenue but um I'm gonna watch the second episode of <coughs> what's it called you know I was a big Game of Thrones fan and then they came out with like the prequel prequel to it which is like House of Dragons I don't know young um young Khaleesi what's her real name before she became Khaleesi it's also the Dan Daenerys like she's I don't know she annoyed me a little bit she didn't even really do nothing. Maybe it's her facial expression. But the first episode was like dragging. I don't know. Maybe like I feel like I haven't been able to focus lately. Like I feel like my ADHD has been really bad. So I think maybe I just couldn't focus because I couldn't focus. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm about to eat and watch the second episode. Maybe I'm a little bit better. I'm a little tired. But also, I'm going to film um, a Get Dressed With Me so that I can post it later this week or maybe tomorrow. But I need to eat first because I haven't eaten since earlier. And um, I wanted to... Oh, excuse you. Don't push me. I wanted to do it before I ate because I'm going to look bloated. But they just going to have to take what they could get. My lips is freaking blue from the pre-workout. But I'm on my way to the gym. And yeah, that's what it's giving. So, I'm going to see y'all when I come in. Oh, y'all want to see what I'm wearing? Let me show the girls what I'm wearing today. Yeah, that's what it's given today. I got on a little t-shirt from Pretty Little Things. I got it tucked in. Got on my Nike shorts, my baby Max, and some tube socks. Yeah, we're going to work these legs out today. Good morning. I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment. Want to see my neurologist. You know, if you've been following me for a long time on this channel, then you know um, that she helps me with my sleep because I have insomnia. So, um, it's just time for a routine follow-up. So, I'm going to be letting her know all my concerns and see what she says. I just realized I didn't show y'all my outfit. I'm like trying to whisper because I'm at the doctor's office and like the waiting room is like right outside this door. This is like, feel like a cool sock I'm on today. I'm a little bloated, but yeah, yeah. Y'all, some lady just scared the shit out of me. She was really like, I was putting my seatbelt on. I looked over, her sis was really staring at the window. And then even when I would look at her, like, like what you need. She was also like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was my car because I really screamed. And then um, she still proceeded to stand there. So I'm like, okay, we both established that this is not your whip. Like, vomit else. Like, that shit was crazy. Anyway, so my doctor 
is thinking that oh, this is such bad lighting my doctor is thinking that i could have sleep apnea so she because mm -mm, this lighting is so bad i'm gonna tell y'all in a second hold on this lighting is so bad <laughs> hey y'all i am super embarrassed because i was knocked out oh my god like i told y'all i was gonna come back and talk to y'all didn't happen because I was like tired and then I was like feeling weird because I'm like what's going on I don't know it's because I took like the two scoops of um C4 you know my pre-workout which my my homeboy was like no don't do that your body's getting used to it I don't know but I just felt weird I don't know almost like feeling like dehydrated and this was like a couple hours later this was around this is around 10 no, up until, because I got home around 12 something. So I was just feeling weird after I left my doctor's appointment. But I also felt tired and jittery, which also, like, I tend to get, like, really weird and fatigued when I haven't gotten, like, a, a good night's sleep and my body starts to act funky on me. But a bitch is up, and I just received a PR package from Princess Reese, um, beautiful girl, um, beautiful makeup artist from Brooklyn, um, Actually, I, she's a celebrity makeup artist as well. And she sent me her Bel Air package because she is a Bel Air girl. Rick Ross's, um, I guess you would call it, um, liquor? But this is like rosé. So I don't know. I don't. Y'all know I don't know nothing about alcohol. But I just love the pink body. Y'all know my favorite color is pink. And really grateful that she thought enough of me to put me on her PR list. So I love that. Um, check her out on Instagram if you're in Brooklyn or wherever so you can get your face beat because that girl is talented. So right now I have like a little setup. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, but I bought some towels um, a couple months back from, from Home Depot so that when I wanted to have like a certain look of taking product pictures and stuff like that, that I would have the setup in my home. Y'all know I live in a second floor apartment, which is also like the attic. So certain parts of the apartment, you know, it caves and it's like low. I have no idea why I just volunteered the information. Oh, probably because when I'm standing up, y'all gonna think that I'm a giant. People always ask me how tall I am. Like even in my room, like by my door, it curves. So I look taller than I really am. But when you come into my room, which is really big, like the ceiling is high. But, um, yeah, I'm about to just do a product setup and just do, like, a little, um, an Instagram story. Okay, guys, just wanted to show y'all. This is the little tile that I got from. It's two pieces of tile. One I stacked up, like, as a backsplash. And another one I laid flat. And I'm basically just going to try to get a, a good shot. I should put my phone on the tripod because my hand is kind of shaky. And I just want the cleanest, best um, content so that she can repost it. So, yeah. We're going to get into that. And then I'm going to come back. Oh, you know what else? I have, like, a mini fridge in my apartment. Ew. Why so close? Mad ugly. My bad, y'all. Because I don't know why the fuck I would be zoomed in. Probably scared. I probably just scared the shit out of y'all. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I bought like some juices from my old trainer. Be Wells drinks. She makes these from scratch. Lord God, it's Tinka Ginger. Eh eh. I smell the ginger through the bag. I am not a ginger drinker. Like when I tell you, you know, black people think that ginger cures all. But, like, my mama, being Jamaican, she's Jamaican too. Like, she used to be, like, drink ginger tea if anything goes wrong. I can literally smell this bitch through the back. I'm wondering if it's the juice or is it the little booster shot? Because she always give out her booster shot that's, like, really, like, ginger and turmeric. I wonder if, it, if it's this I'm smelling. I don't know. I'm scared to take it. I've been seeing the men shoot it down. Some people shoot it down, but I'm somebody that can't shoot that down. Like, you know, I'm not a drinker, so I don't know how to do shots, but, um, let me shake it up good. This one, I believe, is the pineapple and, um, 
pineapple, ginger, and something else is in here. And it's cold, so I know this bitch tastes good. Oh, it's good. I actually do taste the ginger. It's potent, but it's not overpowering. It's really good. Good morning, beautiful people. Shake it up town, shake it up town, shake it down town, shake it down town. It's like 4.30 in the morning. It's like 4.30 in the morning. It's Friday. And I'm taking myself to the gym. And it's like I've been going to the gym and shit. However, I just, um... I feel like I mainly been going two days and been trying to figure out. I've been going two days going hard and been trying to figure out, um, like, you know, what is going to be my three days. Because I'm in preparation to start making my way back to work. Ugh, how dreadful. But I'm so grateful for my job. I mean, ultimately, would I like to not be there? I mean, obviously, for my sanity, for my peace of mind, and just for my career path. Okay, y'all, I'm making a mall run, and this is what it's given. I look a mess, and I don't care to look anything else. Actually, I feel like if my hair was done, like if I actually cared to do my hair after coming from the gym and putting on proper shoes, like, it would kind of give. Because it's like, it's like, oh, look at me. I'm just a regular girl. I'm running errands. But yeah, back from Zara, t-shirt from PLT, shorts from Hollister. Y'all see when I had that from taking it. And then I have on my glasses from Dynamics, an Instagram brand, Crocs, and I'm just going to go to the mall because I'm going out. So I'm just going to go to the mall because I'm going to get all this tomorrow, and we're going to hang out. And I needed, like, a better sports bar, so I'm going to go to Dick's because, like, I got, like, these bras from, like, Amazon. From like someone else's um someone was just showing like they brought like they workout clothes and I was like oh I'll just pick those up but honestly I have big breasts I also have wide breasts so I have to like I have to wear like the good bras like I can't afford to do like the little cheap ones they're just not for me not to say that there aren't probably some good ones on Amazon I just wasn't in luck and I'm not about to waste my time or any more money so off to Roosevelt Fail, we go. I don't know if I told y'all, but they took the H&M out of, um, out of Queens and Mall, and they're replacing it with Zara, and although, you know, I love Zara, and I hate the fact that I have to go so far to get to one, I still think it's a little ridiculous to not have an H&M in the mall. Like, some people need the in-between, and sometimes you find little cute stuff in, in H&M. <clears throat> I got my little sweats from there. And all that. And, like, you know, like, cute little t-shirts and stuff like that. Sometimes you actually find, like, good stuff. And, like, for a workout, um, it's, ooh, feeling nauseous. It's good to be there. So, I don't know. I don't think they should have took it out. I think they should have just maybe just added a Zara. But that's just me. If we being honest, I don't know why workout clothes so expensive. I'm being honest. I'm being as for real. Like, some of them don't even be that durable. I'm home with my bag. Um, what was I gonna say? I had a hard time finding bras, and this is Nike. I don't know. They bottom fit me well. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to go on a site, but. Like the sports rods, like you know how you put it over here and you pull it down. It was getting caught right there at the top of my boob, and that was an extra, extra large, a two X. I'm like, I was getting frustrated. I also just felt tired. Look at my bags. Ew, I have luggage. What came, what came Michelle said about rush? <laughs> no, because. I need a nap because I feel like my equilibrium is off. Hey y'all. All this just got here not too long ago and he's getting on my everlasting nerves already. We're going to a bat and cake. Look at Mr. Annoying. All this just got here not too long ago and he's getting on my nerves already. 
And he don't care. Do you? And time with sneakers. Yeah. But when I but when we was at the park, you was trying to act like you ain't know how to tie your sneakers though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm eating before I leave y'all because if I don't, I'm gonna end up buying something that I don't need to eat. What's that? Egg whites. It's egg, but without the, the yellow part in it. Does it taste the same? Mm-hmm. Get out of my face. Hey guys, we're on the way to do some activities with Gus Gus, right August? Hello. So, yeah, it's going to be so fun. He just asked me for marshmallows. Like, that's really weird because who eats marshmallows on their own? But if you do, that's also fine to eat your own. I done pulled out some here out of my frontal. Right here is looking bullheaded. But this frontal was holding on for a little while. I'm buying a new one when I come, when I take this off. And I'm just going to keep the wig. And then Claudia can replace it. Also, I'm getting my hair done next week. I'm really excited. Excited. And I don't think I'm getting no baby hairs on it because honestly, going to the gym and trying to finagle the baby hairs all the time is not really working out. You gotta hit a target. Oh, I. Oh, hit the ball. Mm -hmm. You hit the ground. No, I'm trying to hit the snake. Ah, oh, see, I hit the snake. Oh, the zombies. Dang. Look what my eyes doing. How unattractive. I had to come sit down, y'all. It's too hot out there. The mini golf course, it is too hot. It's too damn hot. I can't. The sun is just beaming. It's like no relief from the sun. But it's fun, though. I just wish I had a little shade. But that's what golf is, right? My level of patience is non-existent. Kudos to all the moms out there, especially the ones with multiple children. Because he's driving me nuts. He's asking a lot of questions right now, and I just feel overly stimulated. Plus, like, I'm just, I'm hot from being outside. We were outside for two hours. Like, I hate being outside, but I'm so happy that he, I was able to take him. Like, he had a, he had a really good time. He didn't want to leave, but... The place wasn't really a big place for, he literally played everything, so. We're gonna get ice cream, and then we're probably just gonna go home. Um, I think make turkey burgers, burgers. You wanted to make turkey burgers, Gus? I don't know what that is. You don't know what a turkey burger is? It's a hamburger, it's a turkey burger. So what do you want to eat, August? All right, August. I get, I have ginger ale lemonade, a big bag of talkies, marshmallows, and a lollipop, and I got gloves. Marshmallows and a lollipop. I know, so corny. Marshmallows. Auntie's birthday. Yes, my. We get some Japanese food. We never get it when I'm over there. First of all, okay. Yeah. Don't forget about it. No, I'll just um, just text me in the morning when I'm bringing him home. But I don't think I should forget. So. Okay. Soon I'm gonna get. Oh, I want yes. chopsticks. Oh, you, you always want chopsticks. You're not getting any because I spent enough money on oh you. It's only for Amaya. So. Hi. Now I'm just letting you know. Like, don't even ask when we get there. You can ask for a chopsticks, but you're not getting food. I spent so much money on yes, on yourself today. I need, I need just chopsticks and chopsticks by itself. Oh my! Why did you get milk? I'm only eating dry cereal for now. Hello. Get your big face off the camera. You're so ugly. Wow. Yes. So, so we're going to be making some turkey burgers. So we're just going to season them. Um, I'm, so um, I'm basically, I don't eat right no more. I love potato bread like on my turkey burger but I'm gonna have mine with lettuce buns so I'm literally gonna use lettuce as the bun okay and it actually takes good and, and it's filling what worry about yourself focus on yourself as a woman 
I'm not a woman. I'm a woman. Okay. And I'm letting your ass know as a woman, focus on yourself, love. Yeah, as a woman. This is the year of the woman. There was no year of the Boys woman. Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Yeah. Oh, no, this is a good one. That's a good one? All right, now. Another one? Yeah. Okay. You good? Yeah. I don't like it. I'll go. Why are you all in my grill? Why are you all? <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. That's a real Krabby Patty. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Give me the damn thing now. Hey, guys. It's been like a day. And I'm getting ready to leave to take August home. It's like 4 o'clock. I'm really sick of his ass. I've had enough. No, because, yeah, everything his mom was complaining about, and I tried to overlook as the doting aunt, I saw it for myself between today and yesterday, so we're happy to get rid of him, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stop and get his sister some Japanese food, that was her request, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, you didn't kiss me, August. You didn't kiss me at all. Like you never kiss me no more. What's that about? Mm. August. May I have a kiss after all I did for you? Mm -hmm. You're such a using ass little boy. Give me a freaking kiss. Boy, that's mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't I'm not saying that I mind doing cardio. I just I'm just saying that I don't like to run. I feel like it's hard for me. Alright, well you're gonna have to break through it. Have to So walking on an incline, walking on an incline on a, a treadmill is not good enough. Okay, I just don't see what the heart rate has to do with me losing weight. The heart rate has to do with you losing weight. When your heart is fucking pumping, a lot of fucking blood, the fucking nervous system is fucking working double time. When your nervous system is working double time, you're fucking sweating like I fucking seen you in the gym the other day. You're sweating. You're losing. Stop making pussy ass, punk ass, bitch ass excuses. In the fucking world. I'm gonna stop and shop. I saw people eating this. They had like different flavors, but um, it's like it's ice cream, but it's like rice though. I don't know. It's like supposed to be healthy. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. You think I should get it? Let me go. Get the ice cream I really came in here for. But that one is healthy. So it's like rice though. It's rice healthy. There's that card. Hmm. Where is it? That ain't it. This is it. Look y'all, this is the ice cream that is like healthy. So I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try. See, it's only 290 calories per pint, and it's a good source of protein. So I'm gonna take this one. I think, cause you can't go wrong with vanilla bean. I don't know what this is. It's cookies and cream. I'm gonna try these two and see which one I like. I'm gonna get me some chicken tenders. Because I've been eating that a lot lately. And I like it. Um, I like the ones from Stop and Shop. Because they're like sliced thin. I don't like that um, thin, that thick. 
chicken. I don't like when any meat is like super thick. Unless it's a steak. I'm gonna get some peaches because I saw a recipe on TikTok that I want to make with that ice cream I just got. And the peaches. It's two of them that I can make. She made one with like oatmeal and the peaches and then I got another one. Shit. I'm just gonna get two. I hope it's good. Hey. Hey y'all, I'm sitting here. Hey guys, so I'm home. Let me just so I'm home and I'm sitting here sitting at my computer because I'm about to edit this very vlog so that it could go up sometime this week. Um, I'm home from getting my goodies. I'm so tired. I need a nap. Um, one of my, my vendor sent me the wrong lash. I think they updated the lashes. Sometimes what they tend to do is <clears throat> upgrade and update lashes. Update, I'll say, not upgrade. Update lashes due to like customer feedback. And I feel like one of my favorite lashes, one of my lashes that it's a product on my site has been updated because I got it and it looks exactly like another lash that I have. And the math isn't math then, and that's so frustrating because I really try to like analyze every shipment that comes in so I can tell if anything is different because I don't want to market it as something that I already have on display and it's really not and it looks like I'm just beating my customers in the head. I'm going to end this vlog here and I'm going to see you guys in the next vlog. Please guys, please tell me what y'all want to see. Um, I'm not going to be doing any full um, hauls because like I said, we're stacking our bread, we're saving, I'm not doing that. I really have stuff that I have yet to wear from last fall last winter and honestly we have to make a conscious effort of like re-wearing our outfits when we're not celebrities two they even re-wear their outfits and three it's like you can make so many different outfits by just being creative like just you know using your imagination just drawing inspiration from other people from going on pinterest social media and that's what i'm trying to do so um obviously there will be a couple of pieces that i have to buy especially like sweatpants because i've run my sweatpants down in the winter like that's all i wear like period like especially when i'm going to work that's that's my uniform it's sweatpants and my thighs be running together so it'll be nothing but them little fuzz balls on the inside but um for the most part yeah i'm not doing no for a whole and also i want to start focusing on buying more more pieces that will last me longer more pieces that is not considered fast fashion i don't have nothing against it because obviously <clears throat> we buy in our budget and i don't think that you always should have to buy something super expensive for it to be fly but i really want to get the most out of my pieces and my pieces to last longer and to not be like super trendy whereby it's like outdated like within or uh, within like a month like you know you done seen everybody done your timeline it with it that's exactly why i wanted to get more into thrifting and thrifting is good too and it's good for it's good for the environment so um yeah but i would love for you guys to tell me what you want to see i think i'm going to do a new makeup tutorial this girl asked me on tiktok to actually talk them through it but I feel like like a um a contour and highlighting placement. But I feel like I've done that, and I feel like my base hasn't really changed. So I don't know. I'm thinking about doing it, but then it's like it's gonna be like another bland tutorial. I feel like I've done that already. But anything else that you guys want to see? Any topics that you guys want me to talk about? If y'all want me to have a sit down video and just talk to you guys, if you guys want a story time, um. Story times are hard for me because I'm kind of private. Not kind of. I am private and I'm guarded and I'm very particular about what I give out and put out to people. Like, even, like, people in, like, every day that you might meet, not even, like, on social media. Like, I'm just protected because, you know, there's always somebody lurking. Always somebody trying to think that they know you more than they know you or trying to use certain things. So, I try to give things that it's not too personal to me. So, Yeah. That's a hard one. But anyway, 
just tell me what you want to see and then I can go from there tell me what you say now tell me what you say come again if you cannot stay down 